This episode was sponsored by THQ Nordic. This week on Man at Arms, we'll be making something from a hit RPG that's just coming out fully remastered. So if you watched last episode when we made Hand of the Patriarch, Ellen and Derek worked together creating this entire piece. Uh, and Derek was a little bit out of his element. You know, uh, Ellen is a sculpture teacher and that is exactly what she does. She teaches how to do that type of thing. So even though maybe that mass of metal is a little different than what she's worked with, she is an accomplished blacksmith. Having Derek there to kind of be the heavy, to give her that extra help, you know, really made a difference. But he didn't really get to shine in that episode. In this episode, working with Kevin, the two of them going back and forth on this big blade, I think they both really shine and really show their skill set. Uh, you'll see, this is not necessarily the largest sword that we've made here, but it is definitely massive. Probably good five foot uh, overall, but a huge kind of curved scimitar blade. One of the things that's really interesting is the way that it's ground, um, the amount of material that's being removed. We're, we're probably taking a good third of the weight of this entire piece uh, and grinding it away. We could have perhaps uh, done some more forging and forged on the edges some more, as you've seen us do on some other episodes. Uh, we didn't on this because there was a real big time constraint with this entire season. Because the first episode went out two days basically after the beauty shots were done after our final wrap here. And then this episode is two weeks after. Two weeks seems like a long time, but it's not a long time to edit an episode, a primary episode. You know, this big sword was one of those things where the guard and the pommel were so big, and you know the overlay on the blade was so big, that in my mind, I was thinking about like big Chinese temple swords and things where the mounts are made in wood or they're carved or they're sculpted or sometimes they're even paper mache and then they're gold leafed afterwards since this was a gold surface. So some people will say, well, why didn't they make you know that big stuff in steel? Well, traditionally it wouldn't have been steel and had it been cast, it would have been even more fragile than it would be in the sculpting epoxy. So we went right over a super hard wood and went over that white oak. Uh, did that sculpting and epoxy and then finished the surfaces and that kind of gave us that big physical look that you see in the game. I think we came very close on the sword uh, to what's actually in the game. Be sure to come back Monday to watch the newest Man at Arms Reforged episode as we build this sword from Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning. Only on the All Me channel. Click the logo to subscribe, or click one of the videos to see more here on the Baltimore Knife and Sword channel, or go to All Me and watch Man at Arms.